Today, we're focusing on a tragic incident that recently occurred on the N1 highway near De Dorns in South Africa. This accident claimed the lives of five individuals and involved multiple vehicles, a bus, a minibus taxi, and an articulated truck. The tragedy has had a profound impact on the local community, sending a clear and painful reminder of the risks present on our highways and the need for greater awareness and action around road safety. First, let's take a closer look at the South African road network and the challenges that it presents. South Africa has an extensive highway system, connecting major cities, small towns, and rural areas across the country, with the N1 highway being one of the most crucial routes. It's a key thoroughfare for both commercial and passenger vehicles, making it extremely busy. But as useful as this network is, it brings with it challenges. Overcrowded roads, vehicle maintenance issues, and long-distance travel can make certain sections of the highways, especially major routes like the N1, vulnerable to accidents. High traffic volumes, mixed with occasional lack of upkeep on road conditions, make this network potentially hazardous for drivers and passengers alike. In many cases, incidents like the one at the Dawns are not isolated but rather are part of a larger trend in South Africa's road safety challenges. Several factors contribute to the high rate of accidents, with driver fatigue being a particularly serious issue. Drivers in the transport sector, such as those operating trucks, buses, and taxis, often spend extended hours on the road. Fatigue from these long hours is a significant risk factor, particularly when combined with the demands of keeping to tight schedules. The risks increase for those who are covering long distances without adequate rest, with reaction times slowing and awareness diminishing. This unfortunate combination of factors often leads to tragic outcomes, as seen in this latest accident. The response from emergency services to the accident at the Dawns was immediate, with the South African Police Service, SAPS, and other first responders arriving at the scene quickly to offer assistance to those affected. Emergency services play a critical role in managing the consequences of accidents like this one, providing life-saving aid and support to survivors and doing their best to minimize further injury or loss of life. The personnel involved in these rescue and recovery operations are dedicated to public safety, often working under challenging and sometimes dangerous conditions. Their presence can make a significant difference, not only in saving lives but also in restoring order to chaotic scenes and offering initial support to victims. While the response from emergency services is essential, there's a growing recognition that swift reactions alone aren't enough to address the root causes of such accidents. To understand what went wrong, authorities will undertake a thorough investigation, reviewing factors such as driver records and vehicle conditions. This type of investigation is crucial in identifying any regulatory gaps, lapses in safety practices, or instances of negligence. Such findings are not simply a means of assigning blame, they are necessary steps toward creating a safer transportation environment by holding parties accountable and highlighting areas where improvements can be made. When authorities and companies take these findings seriously, they have the potential to prevent future accidents by addressing the specific risks that contribute to such incidents. As tragic as this accident is, it has renewed conversations about the need for enhanced road safety protocols in South Africa. Road safety experts, government officials, and concerned citizens alike have pointed to the necessity of revisiting policies and practices to ensure that they are as effective as possible. For example, there have been discussions about updating the National Road Traffic Act and strengthening enforcement of existing regulations. These revisions could help create a more consistent framework for driver training, vehicle maintenance, and road usage standards, ideally reducing the number of accidents and saving lives. Legislation is a critical component of this process, as it provides the structure within which authorities can enforce safe practices and penalize those who violate them. One of the primary areas of focus in these discussions is improving driver training and awareness. 
The importance of a well-trained driver cannot be overstated, especially in high-stakes environments like long-distance and commercial driving. Adequate training ensures that drivers not only know the rules of the road but also understand how to handle various road conditions and situations. Comprehensive training programs would emphasize the risks of speeding, driving under the influence, and ignoring necessary rest periods, which are all key factors in reducing accidents. By improving driver education and awareness, South Africa can take a significant step toward decreasing the incidence of such fatal accidents. However, improving driver behavior is only part of the solution. Vehicle maintenance is another essential factor in road safety, especially for commercial vehicles that cover thousands of kilometers each month. Proper maintenance checks can prevent mechanical failures that might otherwise lead to disastrous outcomes on the road. Trucks, buses, and taxis, especially, require regular inspections to ensure they are roadworthy. Some companies, unfortunately, cut corners on maintenance to save costs, putting both their drivers and other road users at risk. A stronger regulatory framework for vehicle maintenance, coupled with more frequent and rigorous inspections, could help mitigate these risks. Road infrastructure also plays a significant role in safety. The quality of roads in South Africa varies widely, and poor road conditions can exacerbate the likelihood of accidents. Potholes, poor lighting, inadequate signage, and the lack of proper barriers on high-speed roads are all factors that contribute to unsafe driving conditions. Investing in better road infrastructure would not only enhance safety but also improve the overall efficiency and reliability of the transport network. With improved roads, the number of accidents due to hazardous conditions could decrease significantly, creating a safer environment for everyone. Public awareness campaigns are another important tool in the fight to reduce road fatalities. These campaigns can educate the public about the importance of safe driving habits, such as observing speed limits, avoiding distractions like mobile phones, and being mindful of other road users. A widespread commitment to public awareness could foster a culture of safety and shared responsibility among South African road users. Thank you for watching today's video. If this topic resonates with you, please like this video and consider subscribing to our channel, Mzansi Moments, where we cover essential issues that impact our communities. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this tragic event and on road safety more broadly. Do you believe stricter safety laws are the solution? What other changes do you think could make a difference? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's work together to build a safer future on South Africa's roads. Remember, every time we get behind the wheel, we have a responsibility to ourselves, to our passengers, and to everyone else sharing the road. Thank you, stay safe, and drive carefully.